Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to open an activity from a button click and after that we are going to see how to pass the data from the button click. So let's open Android Studio. So I'm going to click the new project. So I'm going to choose the empty activity and click next. So I'm going to name this project as sample app. And this is my package name and I selected Java. So this is my minimum Android version and I just click finish. So you can see our project loaded successfully. So I'm going to click this one. So you can see in the layout. So activity underscore main node XML, right? So this is our UI. So this is a Java class for that specific UI, right? You can see in this set content view, we can able to see the name of the activity underscore main dot XML, right? So now I'm going to create a new activity. So I'm going to right click this one, new. You can see activity, right? Here, empty activity. So I just click this one. And I'm going to keep the name it as it is. The activity name called main activity 2. So I just click finish. So now our main activity 2 is created. So I'm going to the main activity. So this is a first class which is created by Android Studio. So I'm going to navigate to the main activity 2. Main activity 2. So now I am going to the main activity. So this is the hello world right. So you can see there are one view right that's called split view i just click the split view and you can see this is text view so i'm going to delete this one so i'm going to create a button you can see button right i just hit enter so here there are two options right match parent and wrap content right so if i give match parent that will take n day a width right so just see if i give match parent that will take end day width, right? So if I give match parent for the height, that will take all the screen. So I don't want like that. So I just give wrap content and wrap content. So if you want to customize your buttons, you can give like 100 dp. So dp mean density pixel. So 100 dp like that. So this is pretty good, right? So I just keep it as it is. So after that, I want to set one id so this id is unique in the ui elements so you can see id start with at plus id right then i am giving button underscore one id so this is done so after that you can see there are no text inside the button right so i just going to give a text text android colon text right so this text I'm going to type click me. So after that you can see there are one errors right. So that's because you can see this is inside the constraint layout right. If we sit inside the constraint layout we have to set. So I just right click here and you can see there are center right. I click center vertically. You can see that's arranged properly right. So I right click again and center horizontally. Okay, now it's done. So now I am going to the main activity. So inside here, I am going to declare our button. Button. I name it as button one. So you can see there are one red line, right? This is showing the error. You can see in the import there are no button library is imported right so in order to import if you are using a windows you have to give all tender so i am using a mac so i just uh, keep over the mouse and you can click this one as well uh, but i am going to use the keyboard shortcut so i am using a mac i just click option enter so if you are windows user you must have to use the all tender so i just click import class you can see after I imported this uh, library is added right so inside this main activity you have to make sure there are two calibrators 
right so i mean i am what i am telling is inside this on create method so i am calling this button i copy this button and paste it here right so i just type find b by id that is enough right r dot id dot r mean resources right inside this resources id and the id which we gave it here right that's called button id right button underscore one id i just copy this one and going here and paste it so this is called casting so if you want you can put like this that's also fine but that is not necessary so if you want you can keep it as it is after that you can see we have to set the method for the button click so if i call the button again and i just press dot we can able to see all the methods right in the first method i can see set on click listener right so this is for the set the text and this this is for the set visibility but this is responsible for clicking the button so i just hit enter so after that you can see this is a interface so i have to type new on click listener right so i just hit enter so android studio generating all the code for us so if you want to do anything after the button click you can type inside this method right my goal is simple so i want to navigate to the main activity to the main to activity right so that's why i just type capital i n t e n t this is a uh, one of the class right so if you type here you can see this will imported here right if you hit enter so i am going to create a object intent a new intent right so you can see this is the way we have to create a object in java right so here we have to pass the two parameters one is this activity context right i just copy this class name and paste it here and at the keyword this one right this so after that the second class which you are going to navigate right so if i go to here i just copy this class name and come back this code and paste it and at class so after that you can see so this intent contains a data of this activity and next activity right so after that we have to start the activity start you can able to see right start activity one of the method right m means method so we have to pass the intent object right i just hit enter so here we want to pass this intent object so i passing this intent object and that's all so you can see what happening here is so i just uh, declare the button and initialize the button so after that so i created method for the button click so inside this method i am calling this start activity method right so in this method i am passing one parameter that is a intent object here i am passing the main activity and after that i am passing the second activity right so you can able to see our second activity right so this is our second activity ui so i am going to drag and drop one text here and right click sender vertically and horizontally okay so i am going to name this one as second activity so now i want to run my code so i just click this button to run the app so you can see if i click the click me that will navigate to the second activity and if i press the back button that will come to the previous activity but so but if you want to go to the activity and don't want to come back just add this line inside this method right that's called finish so if you finish this one and i just click the run method again so i just click me and if i click the back button the app will finish you can see this is how it's working right so now we are going to see how we can pass the value from this activity to next activity so i just minimize this so here you can able to see so in the second line i am going to call this intent 
and here I want to type put extra here I want to pass a string so I just pass this string second I want to pass the value right so here I just uh, declaring a one value here string value equal hello hello so I'm going to pass this value here so in the second activity I'm going to get the text and show it into the this text view right so I'm going to declare this text view text view inside this one I just call this text view and find view by id and here r dot id so I want to pass id so this is our text view id I copy this one and paste it here that's all and here I want to get the value from the previous activity right so in order to get the value from the previous activity inside this second activity I just type get intent so after I am going to get intent I just type get string extra you can see get string extra right this one and here I want to pass the name right so this is a name which we gave it here that's called this is string right this is a key or oh, just you can keep it as key right whatever you whatever you can name it here key right I just copy key and put it here this is a string value right so I'm I can store into the string string text I store into the text and so I'm going to check if text not equal null which means sometime if you don't pass any value here I mean if you don't have any methods like this this will crash right that's why I'm checking is the text not equal to null then I am calling this text view right then text view have some of the public method right I just set text right you can able to see right small set text right so I just call this one and here I want to pass this text I copy this one and paste it here so now I am going to run the app again so I just click the click me you can see hello right so again go to the main activity I just change the text as hello there so this is working fine right and thank you so much guys so this is my youtube channel so I am uploading uh, good videos right so in the android and javascript and game development and some of the fun projects so how to connect the physical device through the wifi and a lot of amazing videos I am publishing nowadays so if you like to learn android please subscribe my channel and stay tuned thank you so much